Try to imagine every major lacrosse association becoming one, bringing you a better game. Lacrosse. There's no I in team, just us. U.S. Lacrosse. Imagine what we can do together. To join, call U.S. Lacrosse today at 410-235-6882. Get Lacrosse Magazine and the new quarterly Lax Mag for kids, plus other benefits for the player, coach, official, and fan. U.S. Lacrosse. Make the team a winner. the dream is to someday represent the United States, to wear your country's colors, to defend your country's honor, and do it all on the playing field. Tonight, 
The eyes of the lacrosse world are peering down on the team from America, the defending champions of the world lacrosse games. The spirit of the game is still the same since the 1800s when the first Native Americans faced off. Tonight, the U.S. prepares to do battle. Bowen looks inside, he finds his teammate, and that's Chris Gill all alone in the crease, and he waits very patiently to finish the ball behind Lacasio. Canada takes a 1-0 lead about four minutes into this game. Mark Millen takes inside, he'll be wide open, looking for Ross. Millen's got the first goal of the game for USA. A great move, Quint. He was being played way on the perimeter by Fennell. He just gave him an outside fake and then beat him inside. And Millen sticks it. Bob Sheff, he's got a great sweep to him and a big, hard shot. Here he comes, and he's got Rose. USA gets goal number two. It's a two-to-one game. Well, Gabe, uh, this is a back of the night. Nothing big deal, but it's uh, something you deal every day. Watch Watson. Watson with a great shot. He got the feed, protected it with his body. We've seen that shot so many times. Three to one. USA leads by two. King's back to even strength. Only a 30-second foul. US got one shot off. Another goal. Ryan Wade. Ryan Wade comes in, gets the feed from Casey Powell, and buries it past Anderson and Quinn. The speed you talked about is showing itself again. Miller again tries to get a shot. He picks up the loose ball. He'll get pressure on Sanderson, and he'll get a goal. Great job by USA of just ramming it down the throat of Canada. Bowen with one more shot, and Sal Acasio makes the big time save. USA knocks in goal number six. Five straight. They are taking over this game and making it look easy. On the side, it's USA on Sanderson. Flag thrown. Goal number seven. And USA is hammering this team from Canada. Kids got as much guts as anything in the team. These are all champions. Big shot, Ryan Wade. They had a lot of looks. Finally, Ryan Wade gets his second goal of the game. USA just on the dunk. Embarrassing Canada at this point. Millen with the outside shot, but the rebound kicks directly to Curry. And look at the Canadian defense standing around flat-footed. Here they go again. Andy Ross, great speed. They'll have a fast break. Far left, big shot, Miller. Goal number 10, and the USA is squashing Canada. They lead by nine. Low up top, Curry. Nobody in front of Curry. He just takes two big steps and blisters rope. 11 to one, two goals for Curry. This is about as bad as it could, you could expect if you're a Canadian fan. USA showed a total dominance, basically shutting out Canada, and right now leading 11-1. to This has gone from bad to worse for the Canadians. David Curry with absolute target practice against Sanderson. There's not a Canadian jersey within 15, within five yards of him, and watch him just put that in an impossible place for Sanderson to make that save. Very simple. Against Australia, we were a team. Against U.S. last time, we were a team. Let's get back to that team concept. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Believe in ourselves. Let's go now. We can do it, guys. Let's have some confidence. Go for the run, run, run. Let's dig deep. And it's in two. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready.
back for USA. We're going 10 men. So I want Tommy Fair on the ball. Okay. okay. T Fair on the ball. On the offensive side? Yes. Okay, T Fair on the ball. Clear, Everybody right? locks off. Top, you, you're going to have a 10 man. I want you down on the restraining line. Four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Yeah, they're coming down to restraining line. Four minutes. Four minutes. One minute. Make sure you stay back as we clear it. 40 seconds left, plenty of time. First time. Melchick can't finish off the pipe. That was off of the pipe. Maritek had an open net again. Millen. Now Millen won't give it up. He'll keep the ball as he's being ragged by Gary Gate. Here comes Sanderson for the double. Half a minute to go. Canada had two shots to tie this one up. Watson coming in on net. He won't take a shot. They won't be able to get it back this time as the ball pushed around from player to player. Lockwood gets it on the ground. Here comes Canada. One last chance. All the way down. Here comes a shot and a big save by Lacasio. That will end the game. Lacasio becomes the MVP to most of the crowd here. USA. to get the shot off. It's on five. Working the one side heavily, trying to get an overload. Game three, Canada, top 24, far side. There's a rocket. He finds Rose in the corner. Beautiful job by Scott Griffin. On him play at Hobart College here in the States. Inside, another shot on San Lucasio. That one bounces in the net. Wait a minute. You'll see Uruguay Hiller. Gordon Purdy behind the net. And you'll see Roos just catch this right-handed. Too much room in front. U.S., they got to tighten up that defense. Nice shooting by Nathan Roos. Play ball. And it's tough to defend this. Like in basketball, you step up, you catch that pass. Rocket from outside. Gordon Purdy with nobody on him. And Lacasio is livid. It's a 5-4 to four game. Speed B, watch the overhand motion with this long stick. It's so tough to make that save, and he's from close range. Ten flag. Wow. So this could be disaster for Australia. Yeah, it gives uh, some sort of uh, substitution fraction. Millen up top. He rockets the left hand. Millen gets rope. Box, you're going to feel the wrath of guys like Timmy Sudan from 10 yards. Just an absolute howitzer. A cannon past Murray. On extra man. Tierney and his company lead by two. To stop. Gary Mortimer, you're, looks like your offense is really 
Well, well designed. And as I was talking about control, right out in front of the redirect, Nathan Roost. Roost, far side again. They couldn't get the shot off. They wheeled back around this time. They've got rope and a tie game. You'll see the feed across the front of the goal. Wave, time, and room. Devastation between the legs of Murray Keene. Here it is again, left-handed. He can bring it. He's got two shots that he really likes. So one, to look at the replay in front for the Aussie goal. We're tied up at eight with eight minutes to go here in the third. Just a headsy timeout. So pushing it up. Can he change the complexion of the game? Sudan, far side. He's got Darren Lowe near. This is Finneran. Finneran, Lowe. He's got rope. That's a nine to eight game. That was a textbook fast break. Lowe was sneaking in on the left side the whole way. That makes it a nine eight game of USA. USA, Mark Millen, great change of direction. Far side, Jesse Hubbard, big shot! Hubbard had the location he wanted as far as where he is on the field. He has maybe the best right hand from that spot of anybody in the country. Jacobs to Hubbard to Watson. Far side, finishing shot, USA on a roll. That one counts, it's Millen. Right here, the replay, you'll see, he just turns on the Jets. Drops his shoulder in and beats Lucasio to the off-stick side. Perfect placement. Peter in comes in and scores to make it 11-10. Back to a one-goal game. So this, here it is again. Watch the replay. A little shake and bake. He likes his left hand, but he goes to his right right here. Gordon Purdy on defense gives him that shot, and you can see he just beats King. Great angle on that. Does a great job putting this team up 13 to 10. Look at the speed blowing past the defense of Skepper, and he brought his team a victory for Coach Tierney's first one. If on the sideline, that is jittery, a little more composed. They understand what England's going to try to do to them. Well, they've got some great ball moving going on here. Put the right in the face of Parkatera. And it was Blake Miller, the outstanding player from Hofstra. Came right down the middle. It was a four-pass offensive set, Quint. And it ended up behind Parkatera for goal number one. And here they go, Mark Millen. A little change of direction. Sends it back the other way. Mitchell picks up the rebound off of Carcaterra's chest. And USA makes three passes again in the backside cut. Easy dunk there for a goal. And this time it looked like it was great trainer coming in and just bearing it from the far side. This is England clearing the ball from one end to the other. They get it over to the wing, and it's captain Darren Baythorpe. As they clear it from the defensive end, he just rips it high and hard past Brian Doherty. The first goal of the game for England. Andy Ross goes down to even things up. Very shot far corner. Good placement for England. They tie the game at two. Phil Lynch, 29-year-old attackman from Cheadle. Lynch ties it at two. Great placement. It was all even, but the defense wasn't quite settled. Good fast break opportunity. Steve Talbot tap it to the wing down low for the slam dunk. Low shot. Steve Morley fakes high, goes low, and England leads three to two. They control the ball out front. Paul Fullerton looking to go against Finnery. Big shot. On the long shot, the lefty makes it a two-goal lead. Four to two, England stunning Team USA. And Tierney in disbelief on the sideline. Ball behind to Billy Miller. Billy Miller comes in, takes a shot, and it goes in the goal. 
Miller just ran through two defensive checks, and he gets goal number three. Billy Miller is one of the best penetrators in lacrosse. He just drops his shoulder. He's deceptively fast. You can see right there, great stick control. He almost loses it, and then just a little sloppy defense. You can see Carcaterra get a piece of that, and the backspin kicks the ball into the net. Watch it here. He draws three men, leaving Morley all alone on the backside. And a key was... Dockery. That's the spot. You can see three U.S. defenders on the one England player, and Doherty's left hanging out to dry on that. Morley doing a great job. That's the spot. He loves that low right-handed spot. So this is a different unit that, that played the other night. Lockwood in there right now. We've seen Sheck. We've seen Finneran. They're experimenting with different matchups to see what works. So far, uh, lack of success for the extra man for the U.S. Millen starts in the middle now. He'll cut through and draw a lot of attention. Hubbard stays on the right, and this is Lockwood up top. In this game, they started Sheck up top. Didn't work, so they changed and put Lockwood there. Two rotations. Down close, Blake Miller. He gets it behind Carcaterra. USA makes it a 5-4 game. 7.30 left in the first half. Second goal for Miller. Excellent saves on both ends of the field. Carcaterra against Sheck on the right-handed drive, and then Doherty taking that one off the face mask. Up and down lacrosse. That's the most transition we've seen. Peter Jacobs. He's got room in front of him, all the way far side. Watch out for the shot coming in. Back to Jacobs, and Carcaterra looks him right in the eye. Makes a save. High on that one, back to the crease. And England smothers. They're going to give him the goal. Three guys on the middle of the crease, and USA ties it at five as the game clock goes to three minutes left in the second quarter. Hubbard loves to shoot for the right-hand side, coming in, dishes it out. Here comes the rocket. Big time save by Carcaterra. 5-5, Brian Dockery and Team USA a little bit rocked by the sensational play of England. England has stepped up a notch against Team USA, and Carcaterra leading the charge that way. Ryan Wade steps up, he jumps up in the air and takes that little hit shot he is so famous for. Ball still loose, could be trouble. England cannot pick it up cleanly, watch out, Curry can. Curry goes for the finishing shot. He dances around the perimeter, and Curry gives the USA another lead at 6-5. Watch the loose ball in front. No call right there. Curry with the ground ball. Watch him tuck his stick and run past a host of English defenders and beats Carpentero with multiple fakes. Another look from the end zone camera right there. Loose ball. Curry's just in the right place at the right time and handles. Nifty razzle-dazzle. Four of the six goals for the United States have been unassisted as they still try to find their cutting game. Mark Mellon coming in far side. Millen made the big move on Anthony Walker. We talked about what a great job Walker has been doing. Looks like a little fatigue setting in on the English defense. They didn't rotate that time. Mark Millen scores his second of the game and fourth of uh, sixth of the tournament. This is David Spreadborough with an outside shot. The Aussies from down under. The Sharks, they led early. James Buchanan strikes again. This time he keeps it himself. Spinning from behind the goal. Australia led the entire way, but the Iroquois wouldn't give up. Watch his individual effort from Matt Alexander out of Syracuse. The Iroquois, definitely tough, great stick skills, but Australia's depth and their conditioning really wore down the Iroquois. This is Gordon Purdy, takes it himself to the cage, and the Aussies win this one, 13 to nine, in a workmanlike effort. Nathan Roos scored four goals, and James Buchanan had three for the Aussies as they win their first game. Canada taking on England. Canada in red, England in white. The night game in day one, 
Rodney Tap went in the face off. This is Paul Gate, number 19 for Canada. Right handed, beats Carcaterra. That's the Hopkins goalie playing for England. And this is Gary Gate, the sibling rivalry. Gary had a big night there, left handed, but the English team wouldn't give up. England hangs tough. This is Alex Mitchell beating the goalie for Canada. And then Darren Baythorpe spinning. Terrific effort in front. The English team showed a lot of improvement from prior World Games, but it was all Gary Gate. He finished with five goals and two assists. The Canadians roll 18 to nine. Between the Gates and Tom Maracek, they scored 11 of the 18 Canadian goals. First game this morning in the Red Division. It's Germany against Wales. Germany definitely eating their Wheaties. They scored the first seven goals here. Joe Hurd Rojas finds Brian Bending. This one was all Germany, 16 to nine. Game two today, it's Scotland against Sweden. Fast break for Scotland. Mark Hodkin ahead to Zach Aiken, wide open. Scotland stayed ahead, great goaltending by John Mark. The Fossil, where'd they find this guy playing like a 21-year-old? Mark Jackson finally beats the aged Marr right here. Watch this effort, spinning, spinning, spinning. And look at Marr try to save this ball. Watch him jump at it. Right there, the goal. But Scotland wins 13 to seven. Japan in blue taking on the Czechs. Tight game early. Jiri Makolka scores for the Czechs. But Nagato Shibata spins and scores. Right here, you'll see it. This game was tied up at three at half. Love the Japanese uniforms. We should see more of that. The second half is all Japan. Very quick, very fast, and in excellent condition. Shinya Mariyuma blows past his man and beats the Czech goalie. Final score, 11 to three. The Japanese look like the team to beat in the red division. Day three of the World Games, we've got Wales in white against the Czech Republic. Welsh goalie John Horgan of Towson University played outstanding, made two big saves right here. He finished with 19 saves, but the Czechs go ahead early on a goal by Martin Mierlik. Here it is, the Czechs, they roll eight to six. A little comeback by Wales, but it came up short. The Czechs win eight to six. They outshot Wales 37 to 15. They won the majority of faceoffs. They dominated 13 to three. Sweden with a great cheering section here in Baltimore, and they've got something to cheer back. Check out that hit. Tomohiko Kabashi gets dumped. Great save by Stefan Nielsen. But Shinya Veda pounces on the rebound and scores. Tied up at one. Japan takes control. Ryuchi Seda adds the finishing touch. Japan wins 10 to three. They are undefeated at three and zero. Oh. They will face Germany tomorrow morning. A classic European rivalry, Scotland against Germany. Both teams in white, Germany with the red helmets. This is Taylor Simmers, played at Princeton. He will find Jonathan Dam in front, beating Marr, the Scottish goalie. And watch the giveaway right here. Germany gets the turnover. It's Dam beating Marr again. No mistakes right there. Germans come from behind. They stay undefeated. They get the victory 12 to 10. They will play Japan at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Hey, that's Paul Gate. Check out the peroxide. White-haired Gary Gate. It's Team Peroxide. The Canadians, they're taking on the Iroquois. They look sharp. It was all Canada in this one. They led 12 to 2 at half. That's Hollywood Marichek. He finished with four goals and six assists. The Gates got in the action. This is Gary Gate, the lefty. He finished with three. Paul had two, and Steve Govett had six goals. They roll 23 to eight. They missed the extra point, 24, but Canada looks hot. In 1987, Paul and Gary Gate rocked the lacrosse world at Syracuse University, recreating the way the game of lacrosse was played. Imaginative shots, incredible stick work, made the Gates the best field players in the world, and gave Syracuse three national championships. Ten years later, and still heroes to fans around the world, the Canadian team leaders are sporting a new look. As the crew blondes have more fun, well, maybe they are 2-0, and and tonight, hope to keep Australia down under. Did. They lost that ball game 13 to 10, but they frustrated the Americans consistently throughout that contest, and they get off to a great start right here. And they didn't waste time, they went right at Canada. If you remember in the American game, the Americans were quick to double team. The Canadians probably won't double and triple team as much, so we'll see more isolation plays for Australia tonight.
feeder. He does it all. Good team player in the indoor league. Sanderson with a huge save right in his face. Nathan Roos. Sanderson coming well out. He's looking for help. He's getting ragged by Australia. Looking for the far side. Bass pass picks it up. Chris Sanderson has made two big time saves. Rocket shot in close. It is Tabaris. Tabaris grabbing rope, making it a 1 1 game. And transition will really play into the hands of Canada. Marichek, the balanced attack, and he can cause so many problems because he's a shooter, but he can dish off like that and give you problems. Beautiful job. Textbook by Tommy Marichek. He gets the defense to come at him, and then behind the back, with expert precision, he finds another shooter. 2 1, Canada. There gets beat flat footed and the slide comes watch far side. Easy shot. Part from the far side was Nathan Roost, but it was all started with Buchanan's move that beat fair. He just went right past him. Tie the game at two. A lot of wheels, Gordon Purdy. He's open here, fakes the handoff, and comes in and gets rope. Three to two. Purdy did a nice job of faking a flip to his teammate. Canada bit on it, and he got a step. He accelerated and came right down to Sanderson. Clock was winding down. Quarter is done. Goal counts. This will end up 3-3. Three to three. Great move inside by Canada. With just three seconds left, they stunned. It was Jenner. We'll be back with quarter number two in just a moment. I think Sanderson might have been screened. A lot of interference in front of the cage. You'll see the lefty Ings just catch it and shoot it through some traffic. Sanderson late to react there. Gary Gate can take a lot of punishment and it's touching at the stick and the ball away from him. He's pummeled with two and three different players. Push call and will stay there. Take a look at the big time hit right there on Gator. But then they got back up and gave it to John Grant. John Grant ties the game at four. Canada now pushing up. They're trying to get some heat. Tavares, he has a big left hand. Two goals on the day for Johnny T. The last shot for him was the first shot for Canada. And Quint, that is a perfect location. This man, you and I both know, is dangerous off the ball. They are finding him, and he can shoot. Jenner got two goals already. Great shifty moves. Comes in with the left hand, and it was two players who couldn't take him. His third goal of the game. Inge couldn't play defense on him. The Canadian fans love it. A 6-4 game, two-goal lead. Jenner taking charge. Uh, it's just one of those things where it could be anyone's game. I mean, we got so many guys on this team that can play up, and uh, hey, if it's me tonight, then it's me. If it's Chris Gill or Randy Burns on the line, they're springing me open all the time, so... It's, uh, it's going well right now, but we just got to keep going from here on out. Off the end line, Canada gets a quick inbounds play, and Gate launches his 6'2", 225-pound frame and beats Larwood. You guys notice if you guys get on their sticks, they're not going to drive to the net. And that's our defense. Get on their sticks when they have the ball. They're going to pop it out. They're looking for the feed every time. As long as we do that, we're going to be all right. Right? Get a breath of air. we got five minutes this half. Let's really take it to them. Grant. Cannon, and he's got rope from the left-handed side. Eight to four, a five-goal run. And Grant just put some smoke on that one. The goalie for Australia has been changed. Murray Keane is in the goal now. Watch him just bull dodge through here and pull a stick right there as the defense slides. A lot of strength by young John Grant. Rap check doesn't do the job. Australia takes it high and hard, and it was Nicholas. He'll go left-handed, stop right there, and right if you're Canada right there, you've got to slide and double-team him. Dangerous from right in front of the cage. Another look from behind. Watch when he takes his shot, how he's directly in front of the cage and on the run. Very difficult for the goalie to pick up the ball. A lot of room for Inge. Up top. Left hand shot finds the mark. Right hand and left hand for Darren Nicholas. And he single handedly has got a little momentum going here for Australia. Against the US, you guys uh, had to pass the ball inside a lot. Now it seems like the isolations are going to be open. I think so because box play, um, they play more box style, which is more spread out. They're leaving a lot of gaps inside, so that's the best we can do, I think. This will be a chance for Buchanan trying to get it into the middle. Gutman up top with a great wingspan, making it tough to get it through. Tommy Fair playing defense in the middle. Right handed shot! Close enough. Another foul. Flag going. Coming off the field. Good play down low. And it looked like it was a score by Griffin. Wings are potent shooters. Gibson is behind. Buchanan right there. Left-handed 
shot. He's got rope, and it's a 9-8 to eight game now back to a one-goal separation. Watch how textbook this is on the fast break. They give it up to the far side. Now, Grant is to your left. He'll take it right here and just rip it past Keen. Velocity again. Grant has really showed himself to be an excellent shooter. Three goals in a row for him. Back to a two-goal lead. Gary Gage just had a coast-to-coast -coast run. It was Tavares who put pressure on. This is Feltman looking to get in close. And this is Tavares trying to get a handle. Tavares almost gets one on pipe. Can't do it. Up top! And a redirect puts Canada in the net one more time. Does it count? Yes. Halliday redirects. But I've got to tell you, that whole series, to me, the most important guy was number 11, John Tavares. And look at Johnny Grant coming in. And they're going to give him a goal. Hit the top and came back down. That one will count. John Grant is taking over this game. Five goals for him. He didn't even start scoring to the second quarter. And he's got five now. Scored 12 to 8. Gordon Purdy. Get the defense out. And a defensive check will call the penalty. They'll have an extra play. There's another one. It's unbelievable. And a shot and a goal. The penalties are making Australia a contender for the win here in this game. Well, the game was in that 20-goal area where Australia wanted it. They just couldn't make the runs uh, as long as they wanted. Chris Anderson, great job in the goal. He gets congratulations from the rest of his teammates. Team Canada, an offensive explosion led by superstars Gary Gate and brother Paul. They're getting pummeled by double teams, so the team is looking for help. They've got it with a lot of offensive talent like Johnny Grant and Fred Jenner. Yeah, so I'm very confident this is the best team we've ever put together since I've been around. And I think we're going to go out there and uh, work hard and hopefully give them a good challenge. Meanwhile, Team USA is feeling the pressure of being the defending champions. This crowd is looking for offense, and they're getting it from Team USA's explosive attack and midfield. They are getting it together and feeling like they could go all the way. Snag them, stick them. All right, here we go. Let's go, guys. Come on, we got to run. One, two, three, USA! Mark Millen, nobody's been able to stay with Mark Millen in this tournament. Fennell's going to try right here. He plays him in the National Lacrosse League. Shot to the low corner. Sanderson couldn't get it. Great location. They cleared out the side, and it was Millen not beating Fennell, but getting enough room to get a great shot to the low side. Big shot, ripping rope in the corner. Great shot by Matt Shear. Shear, who played just a stone's throw from here at Loyola College. Locked and loaded. And talk about location, Quinn. He pinged the corner. Randy Murns, far side, dips it down. Two passes, shot in there. They've got the second goal. Canada with tremendous stick work. Deadly in the running game. Murns, the lefty, will bring it down. They've got a four on three break. The ball ends up down low. Gill to Govett. Govett beats Lacasio from close range. Take a look at the penalty. Fennell playing decent defense. And then Tommy Fair absolutely dumps Millen, an obvious foul. Just discipline, that's all, right? Just discipline. Frank Nielsen being very calm. He wants those defense to be... Oh, yeah, but, but the, the high stick we don't need to do. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Under control. They'll reload that extra man offense. They're down by one, two to one, in favor of Canada after the United States opened up with a goal by Millen to take a 1-0 lead. Now in close. That'll be a 2-2 game. Millen to Hubbard on the extra man. Tavares looking much more comfortable this year. We've talked about that. Number 11, John Tavares, like a fish out of water in the 94 games. He's a great indoor player. This year, he's looking much stronger. Johnny Grant trying to get around. Di Tommaso, ball loose, and it's picked up by Marichek. They give him the goal. A little bit sloppy on the handle. Grant missed the first shot. Follow up loose. Marichek, he's got the third goal. So Marichek puts it right back in the face of Lacasio. They know each other well. 3-2 to two the score, Canada by one. They were behind with a 1-0 lead from Millen. Scored two, matched by Hubbard. Now Marichek puts in the head. Here goes Bunker. He'll take a shot. He's got the far corner. Identical location to the first Millen goal. Ties the game to three. That was Bunker on Paul. Down low, the shot, big time break, and a finishing shot gives Canada yet another goal. Great fake by Stroop. And an amazing pass. That assist was just outstanding. Jamie Ballin found Stroop on the backside. And Gary one-hands it. 
and then he's off to the races. Defensively, the U.S. has got to pick Gate up right there. Tommy Marichek did a great job clearing out in front of the cage. You'll see Marichek clear his man out, which opens up the entire side of that field. Govan comes down and puts another one in the net. Five to three, now six to three. They've had three in a row, and Paul and Gary come down, a little warning play, and Gary looking for a break as they pack it inside. They got him down in the crease. Gary to Paul, Paul to Rook. They've got the corner, and they are on a roll. Seven to three, now a four-goal lead, and that's four straight goals for Canada. We just want to keep on trying to ride this wave and just keep on working hard. Their offensive pattern is working to perfection. A lot of easy shots from right in front. It seems to be, it seems that they're doubling early. Uh, so we're just trying to find the open guy inside, trying to make a real nice pass, and, and hopefully we can get a, some easy layups. And so far we are, so we just wanted to try and keep that up. They like to feed from the right-handed side to the lefties on the back side, being Gate Gate and Tavares. Big time shooter up top, dishing it down low. Easy finish for Marichek. You don't know where to look, and the defense was really almost flat-footed, not knowing where the shot was coming from. But that one is yet another goal, eight to three. Canada. Upside. We've got an offside also against that 30-second penalty. To Watts from the right hand. Belton inside, almost picked it off. One more shot up top. Here they come. Curry looking for a left-handed. Down low, big fake. Nice job by Millen to drop the shoulder and then go high. They do get the goal. That'll even teams up. Second goal for Millen, 8-4. to four, And they climb back into it a little bit. Defense built mostly with athletic ability, a lot of speed and strength. And rocket shot by Lockwood. Is that Lockwood? I think that's Lockwood on the run. Lamers are hard to read, Q, but that's Lockwood coming left. Two for two so far, USA. This is the third shot at extra man. Watch out. Here he comes. Curry. He's got broke. Eight to six. It's a two-goal game. USA on the move. Gets it, dances on the sideline. Here we go. Up top. By the way, has such great change of direction. Big left hand jump shot. There it goes low and hard far corner. They are really picking that low corner. This one is back to an 8 7 game. USA with four in a row. You know, it's, you know, kill or be killed, really. And that's, I think, the situation that we're in now. We want to. Fighting for your life, the crowd we're loves it. Fighting for our life, and we want to play the way we wanted to. initially the game plan was. That's what we're doing now. We weren't doing that at the beginning. It's World Championships 98, and these two teams are the best at offensive lacrosse. You guys got out 8-3, and then they really picked up the physical intensity. Yeah, they're, you know, they're not going to pack it in. They're, they're playing tough. They, I think they've been down in a lot of their games early, and they're looking to come back. We have to refocus and uh, get back on uh, playing our game and, and hopefully get on top again. What's uh, one key for Canadians to be successful in the second half? Uh, I think we just need to uh, not try and force it inside. I think we're trying to force it in. They've got great sticks that are collapsing hard. Uh, be patient, and um, hopefully the opportunities will come. Canada looking to maybe be a little more patient, take some time off. Looking inside, big shot by Tavares. It starts with number nine, Matty Shear. Of course, he was the guy who started in the first quarter. A lot of attention on him, Quint, and he just snuck it inside to Tavares. Watson's on the far low right. This is Wade. Into down low, into Watson, wide open. Well, Watson came from the far side low, and nobody picked him up. Easy shot, little chance for Sanderson to make that save. Wheeling up top, Curry goes back left hand. Little for Curry, but Curry rips rope on that one, and that'll tie the game at nine. U.S. on the last seven goals, Q. And David Curry playing just unbelievable across Eighth goal of the tournament, second today. Nobody can stop him one-on-one. -on -one. Lockwood's in front of him trying to do just that. Paul Jukes for the right hand. Double, triple team in low. Watch out, finishing. Got it. Easy shot. Govan got that Sal Ocasio off his feet as well as Di Tommaso. And when he made the big fake, he just dumped it low. What a job. In midfield, here goes Paul Gate. Paul Gate right down the middle. Reed Jackson trying to catch him. Nobody will go right the back. And that was a sensational shot in the crease. But I'll tell you what, Quint, that was a highlight real move by Paul Gate. Speaking of switch, watch Robbie Sheck. Great. When he's running full strength, full speed, he's got a big shot. Right there, there's a little bit wide of the mark. This will be a tough run. Watson still goes down to the left, low corner. That is where Sanderson has been vulnerable. They have at least four goals, maybe five, in that low corner off stick side. Seems like the Canadians are getting tired defensively. Watch Belton and Blake Miller. 
This is just a simple stop, turn, and fire off of Sanderson's stick. No help defensively for the Canadians. Another look. Isolation right-handed. He plants and turns. There's no help off the stick of Sanderson. Blake Miller with the goal. And something needs to be changed because USA is real off a ton of face-offs. They really have dominated in the second half. Gary Gate getting double. He tries to fill up the ball. Oh, with a rocket. He's got rope, and we've got an 11 to 11 game. Just pure velocity. You mentioned 100 miles an hour. Paulie Gate, Let's see if I can get him right here. Paulie, pure velocity on that shot. A little deception, actually. Sal thought I was going across to the far corner and went near side and got lucky. You guys uh, seen a lot of time on the wings of the faceoff. Uh, you think you need possession? Seems like you guys play too much defense in the third quarter. Well, I think one of our strengths is defense. Uh, Gary and I, we play very conservative. Just try and contain. And what also happens is you end up getting transition. You go back to the way they made up this team in 94. They had a lot of experience, uh, but not a lot of legs, not a lot of uh, maybe less athletic ability than right here. Belt pushes in close. Big shot by Shear. What a nice job by Shear to cut inside of Ryan Wade. He cut across Beltman. They should know that Beltman primarily is a feeder. He's not going to burn you on a shot. He can, but he would like to feed, and Shear was the recipient. Far side by Watson. He can launch himself. He goes underneath, and what a great shot by Michael Watson on Sanderson. Boy, that was a creative shot, Quinn. He came through and threaded the needle. That's a hat trick for Watson. Had the stick extended low, and then just lifted it over the shoulder. USA off the faceoff. Miller, Watson, he's got rope, and USA's got a 13-12 lead. Watson single-handedly tying the game and then putting USA in front. Four goals for Michael Watson. The score, 13-12, with a 13-minute clock left in this game. We have eight minutes left. Eight minutes. We, score, can, we can score five goals in two minutes. Yep. But, but what we want to do is give these guys some rest on defense. Part of the team is both ends of this arena. Let's let these guys rest so when it comes down to the crunch, we're doing the good things because we're not tired. Canada, though, playing neck and neck. Great ability to shoot. Inside roll. Robert Shecky coach, watch out. Big, big, easy shot there. Jimmy Sudan got time enough to set Sanderson and then change the direction of the shot. Remember, we've got another timeout. If you get in trouble, take the next timeout. Okay? If they don't want the goalie, we should kind of run without the goalie. Listen, run to the goal. All right? Listen, listen, now, listen. No shot. Listen, no shot. No, he's not. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. USA. USA just winding down the time. They will take this one, put it in the bank, and they are still undefeated. USA 4-0 heading to the semifinals. in the red division. It's Japan against Germany. Germany in white, that's Jason Jankowski. He scores using great strength to fight off the defender. But German netminder Alex Schultes attempting to clear. He loses the ball. It's a gimme for Shinya Mariuma. Hidenori Yoko ducks under the check and finds Mariuma for the flying finish. Japan slices through German like a Ginsu knife going through a beer stein. They win 11-4. <laughs> It's the Battle of Britain, Wales and Scotland, the men in kilts with an early lead with some great goaltending by John Horgan. Second half, the Welsh offense fired up. They beat Marr, the goalie, as Scotland pulls away now. Neil Dodgers scores, beating Paul Terry. Scotland wins 14-9, Wales without a victory thus far. It's the Czechs against Sweden in game number three. The Czechs lead most of the game. Pavel Kurtz, checkmate. They're up seven to five, but Sweden refuses to check out. They tie it at 8-8, eight, eight, 
And then with 30 seconds to go, check this out. Sweden's Jan Samuelsson one time to rebound for the win. For Sweden, the check is in the mail. They win 9-8. the U.S. against the Iroquois. Ryan Wade finds Jeff, Jesse Hubbard to put the U.S. up early. It was 2-2 two two after the first quarter. Gaywash Schindler from Loyola for the Iroquois. Terrific effort beats Lacasio. Thrown down, yet he still scores. Bill Miller feeds David Curry, who's very hot right now. Iroquois Nationals fighting back, though. Schindler again to Rex Lyons. Rex in effects. Iroquois hanging tough, but the second half is all USA. Mark Millen on fire, he's as hot as anybody. And then Ryan Wade adds to his goal total. It was all US in the second half, they win 20 to eight. Millen with three, Blake Miller with three, and David Curry had a hat trick. This morning in the red division, it was the Czech Republic against Scotland and perhaps the most exciting game in the world championships. Check it out, the Czech Republic in red, Martin Mierlich. He scores, they led most of the way, but with just four seconds to go, he scores again. We are now in overtime. Give him some CPR. We've got two mandatory four minute overtimes. If they're tied after that, we go into sudden death. The Czechs drew first blood in the overtime. Jerry Makulka scores right off the face off. In the second of two mandatory overtime periods, Scotland turned the tables on the Czechs. They score with just seven seconds to go. We head into sudden death. Scotland on a rush with some pinpoint passing. Martin Clark down below. The Scots win 15 to 14. You can wear your kilt with pride. Scotland 15 to 14 in sudden death overtime. This afternoon it was England and Australia. England in white. This is Paul Fullerton left handed. Beats Murray Keane. Four to three at that stage, but Australia goes on a run. Peter Inge, rope. And then Michael Shedow scores. Finally, James Buchanan throws the final dagger into the heart of England. They're out of the tournament. Australia wins 11 to six. They will finish third in the blue division and advance to the semifinals. We're gonna go back to some of the highlights of Japan trying to play into the playoffs by beating the Iroquois. This is how it panned out. The play-in game features a 5-0 team from Japan, winners of the red division, against the fourth place Iroquois from the blue division. The Iroquois in purple and white, that's Corey Bomberry, the stealth bomber, and they're up two to one. Another nice goal by the Iroquois, Anthony Walker with a laser beam, scorching Japanese goalie Yuji Shimada. Hey, that's Lee Felsmo, our executive producer, and his beautiful wife, Mary Lynn. Leaf Scott Rowe, and so does Kenichi Jinza. He scores from the top of the box. Japan making a little run in the second half. Hideyuka Kanda, he'll make it 10 to eight right here on the extra man. He'll swing it up top. Watch the shot, top shelf. Beats Solomon, the Iroquois goalie. Japan making a comeback, but Gaywa Schindler ices the game for the Iroquois with just a minute and eight seconds to go. They win 12 to nine. The reward, they get to play the US in the semifinals. Japan had an impressive tournament. Coming off an impressive win against Canada, the heavily favored United States is on a roll, and they mean business. Mark Millen leads the offense of a team that has gotten better every game, but Coach Bill Tierney knows his team still has room to improve. Uh, you got to give the goalies credit that have been playing against us. They've played outstanding lacrosse. I just hope that we can shoot just a little bit better, and defensively, our crease, our crease defense has got to tighten up. The Iroquois Nation brings on the game's best Native American lacrosse players. They know their task ahead is a difficult one, but perhaps they can gain strength from their storied tradition to help guide the victory. USA now in a clearing mode, the defense clearing the ball to the offensive end. We might, might want to mention that the blue division, the, the division the United States was in, the, the favor, the medal division, the traditional powers, United States, Australia, Canada. First watch, Volker. Volker rockets a high, hard shot. Curry with great speed there. And the two lefties will make it very tough. Inside is Watson, who slices through defenses like nobody else on the U.S. team. But I think the strength of this USA attack has been they've spread it around every night. Uh, it has been a different player. Milford Marshots, the player on that one. 
looking to get the ball rolling again offensively for Team USA. Darren Lowe back and forth, changing direction. Big finishing shot. Five shots, five goals. It's back to Casey Powell, now behind to Watson to look up front for cutters. Boy now moving to a zone. One other shot. You've got to see a chance for goalie soon. It's going to happen. Way behind to Casey Powell. And there's an easy shot from Watson. Casey Powell behind the back. Jesse Hopper from Princeton. Of course, the coach will turn the coach there. There's a big rocket inside the pipe. Just caught inside the pipe. And like a pinball machine, just bounced over pipe to pipe. But Brian Doherty, he goes to US again. Kevin Finneran, great wheels. This experienced player out of Ohio Westland. Back door again, easy shot. Mark Mellon racking up some numbers. He's got a hat trick. Two players with a hat trick in the first quarter is not done. His marquee value. You've got to try to stay with Mellon as, as much as you can when he doesn't have the ball. Finneran, low shot. He's got to open the corner. And the United States is stunning the Iroquois Nation. It's 10 to nothing with still about a minute and a half to go in quarter number one. You can see Marchant, number seven. We watched him earlier go left-handed, but he's really known for that right-handed explosive first step and a little jump shot. Just to get themselves into any kind of a group to hold back the United States team. 11 to nothing, and another score, Billy Miller. The ball loose in front of the goal. Burham couldn't get it. The goalie couldn't get it. And I'll tell you, the wheels have fallen off the cart early. This quarter winding down, but they'll take a 12-0 lead into this break. And Quint Iroquois dead the nets. They finally get one from Clayton Barnes. Nice cutting play. It starts from behind, and opposite corner cut by Barnes puts it past Brian Doherty. Darren Lowe, who uh, started so many of the plays from behind the goal tonight with a bunch of assists, then late in the game, he got in on the scoring. Uh, an exceptional performance by the U.S. offense. Yeah, I mean, I think this was a carryover from Monday night's Canada game in the second half. We're starting to click. You know, one more game. I think... Uh, in the dorm today on the way over, I think guys are starting to feel it. I mean, I've been dreaming about Friday night, the championship game and the world championships here at Hopkins for, since I've been a little boy. That's exactly what we were looking for was, you know, come out right away at the first whistle and play really hard. If you remember at 3 nothing, there was a timeout. During that timeout, coach said, this is where we've been letting down. We get up a couple goals and we think, okay, everything's all right. We really put the pressure on them. And that's when I think we put the game away early. Then we started working on the offense, running hard. They were trying to switch up between a zone and a man to man. I think we had them early, and that was our game plan. We can expect a hard hitting game on Friday. Uh, I think penalties are key. The, the Canadians really hurt themselves in the first matchup by, uh, by fouling. Any thoughts? Definitely in this game with the offensive powerhouses, the shooters that we have, the shooters that Canada has, the more man ups are going to be in that team's benefit. And uh, we're going to try and keep the fouls to a minimum and cash in if they do foul on us. You guys uh, seem to be having a lot more fun uh, over the last two days than you had the first couple days. You seem to be gelling as a team. I think that happens every year. I was on the team four years ago. It was the same thing, slow start. Everybody's feeling everything out. There's so many good players out on the field. You don't want to do too much too soon. Then you start realizing where your matchups are, who you can match up against, and uh, we really, you know, tonight put it all together. Billy Miller, a big night. He's had a solid tournament. You rarely see uh, Billy Miller with a behind-the-back shot. A guy who was solid in the nets. Not, not much action tonight, Doc, but you were sharp. Only four goals against. Uh, any thoughts about playing here at, uh, at Homewood? Uh, it was just an awesome time, you know. Eric Coy's, I, you're right, I didn't get too many shots down there, but, you know, the ones that they did get, I, you know, I thought I was on my game a little bit. Our defense did a great job, and nothing better than winning at Homewood, Quinn, as you know. The uh, D uh, seems to be tightening up early Start on this tournament. Uh, some some sloppy defense, but uh, you guys are looking sharp for your game on Friday. It'll be the U.S. and Canada in a rematch. Uh, should be a great game uh, here in Baltimore. It started hot. It started sultry. But the U.S. came out full of firepower. They win. Halftime entertainment. That was good, too. And the goals kept coming. The team from Canada has their sights set on another world championship. Loaded with offensive stars, this team's driving for goals. While showcasing one of the best defensive teams in the history of Canadian lacrosse, they know how to be physical. We are Canadians, and Canadians traditionally are, are, are tougher than a lot of other athletes. We're box across players, and they can slash us, they can hack us, and we're going to run through stuff. Meanwhile, the speed of Gordon Purdy and the shooting of Darren Nicholas gives hope to another Canadian upset for Team Australia. 
this is when he's dangerous. Gary Gate running down the field. He's got a man in front of him. That's Robbie Stark. Gary will create trouble. One juke move inside. He'll have a shot. Right-handed for Rope. Gary Gate, coast to coast. That's why they keep him in the de on the defensive end, because he can go from one end of the field to the other. And Gary shifts to his right. They've got to help out. There's no way Robbie Stark, number 25 for Australia, is going to stop Gary Gate one-on-one. -on -one. Canada doing that here today. We want to remind everybody that it's the hottest day in Baltimore. There's a shot, a left-hander. We'll get back to the temperature in a moment, but right now, a re wheeling move. He goes left-handed off the right-handed turn. Tommy Marichek makes it a 2-0 game in favor of Canada. Of Australia, they get the ball, they do. Gordon Purdy comes in, he's got wheels. Tries to push it into the crease, do you believe it? He tried to feed Gillespie. And Sanderson was watching Gillespie. It hit the corner. It'll be Australia's first goal. Credit Purdy with the goal. And it's a two to one game. Peter Inge, number 22, gives it out in front again to Nicholas. We saw him in the open. Good shooter. That one comes in. Far corner. Offside, low pipe. That seems to be the book on Chris Sanderson, who has been sensational. If you're going to beat him, go offside, low. They are missing the finishing part of the play. There's a shot by Grant. He gets that one. Grant collects that one and a bounce shot over the shoulder of a, of a defenseman who was in the goal, helping out with Murray Keene. Makes it a three to two game halfway through, about 14 minutes through the first quarter. All the fans there, the missed fans, the rainforest right there. Look at this mist coming out of there. You see them all turning around that to keep cool. Sheeran ducks under the defense. He's got a motion there and a shot. Beautiful pickup in the goal by Murray Keane. Now back to Tavares. He directs it in for the left-handed shot. Wait a minute, did that count? It did count. Chris Gill comes in and makes it a 5-2 game. Three straight for the Canadian squad. Grant Tavares, and now this shot in a goal. And a beautiful job done by Chris Gill. He puts that one past the defensive efforts of Murray Keane. This is Gary right here. You see a little split dodge to his right. He clears the defense, which enables him to put it back into his left hand, and you can see the accuracy from that last angle. Again, this is what we call a split dodge. He'll go left-handed to right-handed. He clears the defense, which enables him to bring it back to his strong hand and increases his angle, and he beats Murray Keene. Again, right to left, back to his left hand. He's got an angle, and he beats Murray Keene in the far pipe. Item. Here they go. Coming down, Gary gives it to Marichek. Marichek down, driving down low, and a great finishing shot. Beautiful job on the far side by Grant to make it a 7-2 game. This is reminiscent of the U.S. game where they went on a five-goal run. This is a five-goal run that goes from the end of the first quarter into the second quarter the same way the U.S. weathered a storm. Now it's up to Australia to put some stops on it. A lot of shooters out here as Gill gets it down the ball and he looks behind. There, check the distributor up top. Try to get to the crease, they do beautifully. Wide open, Tavares got locked up top. The defense kind of froze for a moment because he's a big time shooter from up top. He's been effective there. But then he just distributed the ball down low and that's where the finishing shot came. Gate behind the goal. They used that motion that we gave behind before and it worked effectively. There he comes from behind the goal and just slams it home. Slam dunk for Gary Gate. Beautiful job. He saw the ball pop out. The goalie was out of position and he just lunged in front and just slam dunks from the right side. Oh, we were man up and the goalie came up caught behind the net and, you know, short his distance to the goal. Working down low, good job done by Jenny Bone, who got the ball from Gary Gate. Now up top, one fake, one man beaten. Easy goal on the far side. That's Paul Gate making the big juke move. First defensive player goes past him, and then he came inside him and just picked his spot. First goal of the day for Paul Gate. There's Paul Gate, came in with the blonde hair. The whole team said, look, we're going to do a team thing, and they all bleached their hair blonde. They said, you're not going to look different than us. And it's been a great unifying technique for that team, Team Peroxide. Tommy Fair tried to get it over the top of Schomburg. And here goes Buchanan. Buchanan gets it inside the leg and the pipe. Beautiful shot by Buchanan. That ends a long scoring drought. 26 minutes they had been without a goal. If we talk about the offense, no backhander. We want the ball. We want the ball smart. No fancy. 
No all world players, it's all world team. This is Canada, we're winning the game. Let's make sure the ball is ours. Australia now reloading. Trying to get the matchups they want. Gervais up top. Trying to keep the ball. The easy shot. That one bounces off Sanderson, but redirected out front. And Australia opportunistically puts it right back in the net. Today, you've done a good job possessing the ball. Any thoughts there? Yeah, I thought the first five minutes of the game, we really didn't. We were squandering it. We scored a couple easy goals, and then we started to get back to our old habits again. But I thought that the, uh, you know, probably the last 35 minutes of the half, we played great and handled the ball really well. And, and you know, Chris Anderson, Steve Toll, those guys in defense have done a great job all week. And it's nice to give them a break. Hopefully, we do the same thing now. And then on the other end, coming right down, it's Magnin again, putting another one into the net for Australia. They lead by four. In close, watch out. Easy goal by Tavares. He snuck in the backside right past Matthew Schomburg. Australia on the run. It's going to be trouble. Witzer looking to help. Goes to his left shooter. And a big rocket. That's rope. Chris Warren. He loves that spot. Tavares puts a shot on goal. Time winding down. A little shot to the feet of Larwood. And he could make the save. But that's the way it'll end up. 15 to 11, it's Canada advancing to the... Four minis. Raise your sticks if you're with wait, Coach wait, wait, T now. Sit up. Relax. The four minis, the two guys, we'll start out in the 34. Start out in the 34. The two guys in the corners. All right? The two guys in the corner. Who do I got? I'll go All right. So you two go in the middle. All right. No. Yeah, you two go in the middle. You two guys come over. All right? Are you two in the corner? All right. After we, th after we get it out, after we throw a pass, let's break into the open then. All right? We break into the open. As we break into the open, Jesse and... and and uh, Robbie, you move down toward the ball, you two guys come up, okay? All right. All right. So now it's either Jesse or Robbie, you're gonna stay back, depending on which side the ball's on. Now Jacobs showing superior endurance. He's laying on the ground. Trying to get inside position. Can't go stand right down the middle. Reed Jackson trying to catch it over the wall. Right on the back, and that was a sensational shot. Easy. Situation. Dominic wasn't even there yet. He got caught. Listen, four games in four days. A little bit of socialising, it's very hard work. It's a good win today, okay? It was hard work, we gritted our teeth and we come through it. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you, Shotland. Yeah. Meet back yeah. here after you shake. Right. Right. Thank you, Shotland. I fight, right? Thank you, Shotland! 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 Thank Czech Republic, Slanjavar, reload. <laughs> Czech Republic! Slanjavar! 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 Go, 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 Hey, Gator, Gator, Paul, what would happen if you went in the staff? What do you think they'd do to you guys? If Gary took the ball outside? I'm trying to shut Tommy. Let's have Tommy cut in the middle, send a good, solid kick in there. Right, if you swing the ball. I'll pick the cross. Okay. We got six seconds, so either that, but if they start moving. They forget about the guy from behind because he's so tight on Tommy. He might be there. I'll take a step. He might be there. Do you feel it? Fellas, let's be smart up front. We're going to play 22 brown and use the clock, okay? Let's be smart, which means we've got to move our legs in and out if you're up front, okay? We're not up there for a rest, all right?
defending champions of the World Lacrosse Games in 1994, but that seems like a distant memory. In these games, the U.S. has been pushed to the limit by Team Canada in an offense that looks primed and ready for the upset. Canada hopes to avenge a 14-12 round one loss and take the title north. It's a battle for the Turnbull Trophy and the right to be called the best lacrosse team in the world. Huge differential in that game. The U.S. was four for seven on extra man. Canada only one for one. Bowen well, looks inside. He finds his teammate, and that's Chris Gill all alone in the crease. And he waits very patiently to finish the ball behind Lacasio. Canada takes a one nothing lead about four minutes into this game. See Gill sneaking from behind the cage right there. He's got to stick up to the left. He sneaks behind Pat McCabe. A lot of confidence to throw that ball to him. Watch the replay, you can see Govett tucks his stick. McCabe makes the check at the last second. Patty McCabe kept his stick on Govett's shoulder. Watch Lockwood's shot here. Sanderson, you won't see him move his stick very much, but it pegs him right in the skull. The Canadians have been in the crease four times so far in this game. You can see how they really take it to the cage. All or nothing type shots. Mark Mellon takes inside, he'll be right open. Mellon's got the first goal of the game for USA. A great move, Quint. He was being played way on the perimeter by Fennell. He just gave him an outside fake and then beat him inside. Fennell has been trying that shut-off tactics against Millen, but you can see the speed and the quickness. There's no way you can shut this guy off. Rob Sheck, he's got a great sweet move and a big hard shot. Here he comes, and he's got rope. USA gets goal number two. It's a two-to-one game. Great shot by Robbie Sheck. Right or left, he can make that ball move. With every day. Watch Watson. Watson with a great shot. He got the feed, protected it with his body, and when he gets the stick low, he can really find the corner. We've seen that shot so many times. Three to one. USA leads by two. Teams back to even strength. Only a 30-second foul. US got one shot off and a goal. Ryan Wade. Miller again tries to get a shot. He picks up the loose ball. He'll get pressure on Sanderson and he'll get a goal. Great job by USA of just ramming it down the throat of Canada. And they're continuing that today. Millen feed to Jesse Hubbard, one touch past Sanderson. On his side, it's USA on Sanderson. Flag thrown, goal number seven. And USA is hammering this team from Canada. They had a lot of looks. Finally, Ryan Wade gets his second goal of the game. USA just on the duck. embarrassing Canada at this point. Eight straight for Team USA. They lead eight to one at the half. Sanderson has been sharp. Really, nothing you can do about most of these goals. Millen with the outside shot, but the rebound kicks directly to Curry. And look at the Canadian defense standing around flat-footed. Curry with all day. No one there defensively for Canada. We talked about the swarming, speedy defense of the U.S. Right there, an example of how the Canadians are standing around and watching. Rodney Tapp playing defense there. Face-off specialist, so maybe not the matchup they wanted. Here they go again. Andy Ross, great speed. They'll have a fast break. Far left, big shot, Millen, goal number 10, and the USA is squashing Canada. They lead by nine. 24 has won. Curry down low, they've got Watson there, and Casey Powell behind. Low up top, Curry, nobody in front of Curry. He just takes two big steps and blisters rope. 11 to one, two goals for Curry. This is about as bad as it could, you could expect if you're a Canadian fan. USA showing total dominance, basically shutting out Canada. You need a spark if you're the Canadians, and on the extra man, it's a great time for them to get a little spark. And there's Gary Gate, parked on the back door. They had him starting behind, and with all the attention was on the right-hand shooting side, this predominantly lefty team got it down to Gary Gate, and he finally finishes one. That's the second extra man goal. They still have not scored six on six. Remember that first four minutes, Canada had a lot of shots about three feet from him, right in his face. They could have scored two or three, they didn't. 
and the defense stiffened up from there. USA diving in, Phil Miller somehow gets around the defense of Tom Fair. Fair standing there with his hands up saying, how can he score and not be in the crease? Well, he can do it. Billy Miller scores the first time for himself today. Notches up goal 12 for USA. He normally looks to be this, this guy, as you mentioned, but he can shoot. Coaching staff may ask him, maybe asking him to be a hero. Gary Gate sneaks around the left side again, and as Volker was looking to help, Gary Gate takes a feed from up front to get his second goal of the day, the third goal for Canada. Looking up top, big opportunity for Paul Gate. Finally, the Gates are getting some numbers. Paul Gate on extra man. Extra man has been their salvation. They've got three goals of their four on extra man opportunities. And you see the fans from Canada happy that they are giving them a glimmer of a hope. One more quarter left in the World Championship. Martin has one assist uh, on the extra man. I got him for two, Quint. One to Gary, one to Paul. That's right, that's right. One to Gary, both on the extra man. Meanwhile, Millen starts low, shoots high, and beats Pinnell and Sanderson. Sanderson not getting a lot of help from the defensive end of the field. Millen with yet another goal, and this one looks to be impossible for Canada to overcome. And the extra man now moving. Up top, big left hand shot, ripping it from up top is Paulie Gate. Showing a little bit better accuracy as he finally gets a little bit loose. Ball gate two goals in a row after two by Gary. And the score now 13 5. They've got to score pretty quick, like every minute to keep in this game. Now you've got six on four. They need a good shot here. Hand handled it cleanly. Ball gate misses it. Bowen has it, trying to get in close. Gill with a finishing shot. Gill parked in front. Nice move by Bowen to fake like he was going to crank the right hand. And Gill just picks up the feed and buries it. Canada needs one here. Paul Gate. Bowen fakes it. Far side. Sneaks it in there. Big shot. That rocket makes it goal number seven. Down to a six-goal game. And there's life on the Canadian sideline. In front. Rocket shot. Canada scores again. They're back to within five. And they've got everybody thinking on the sideline of USA. The United States has dominated the game, but now thinking about a possible Canadian run. Get the face off and quit. They've reconstructed the attack for Canada. They got rid of uh, the guys that were not producing. They want Marichek in there, but they put John Tavares back there with Chris Gill. They want shooters. Big shot over the shoulder. Gary Gates faked behind the back, and he's got rope. 13 to 9. They're back to within four. Gates got a hat trick, an unbelievable fake. I think Lacasio thought he was going to carry this ball behind the cage. The Canadians have reeled off five straight goals. They have been winning the faceoff and converting their shots. Again, watch the fake. Volker and Gary Gate, the primetime matchup. Volker doing a decent job right here. The fake right there behind the back. Lucasio drops his stick. The Canadians down by four. Coach Tierney forced to use a timeout. What a change of events. Paul Gate gets the faceoff from a dominant Rodney Tapp. Tied up by Jacobs. Gets through one and tied up by another player. No foul call. Ball still loose. Gary Gate comes out far side, picked up in midair, and he's got more rope on the far side. Unbelievable handle by Tavares. He went up to the sky to pull down that pass, and he gets the 10th goal of the day. An amazing catch by Johnny Tavares. Gate wins this ground ball and then just flings the ball about 30 yards cross field. Tavares one hand at the top of his stick and then beats Lacasio high. That seems to be the key. Most of their goals recently have come over the shoulder. Three goal lead for USA. Closing moments of the game. About a minute and a half. They it's try to get possession. Here's Tavares. He'll come in. He's got Bell Jack and he's got Rowe. It's a two goal game. 13-11, one minute, 28 left. Still enough time for Canada to tie this one. Maracek, his first goal of the game. John Tavares has been the spark lead. He has made the plays late in this ball game with a goal and now an assist. Watch it, off the faceoff, just unmarked men. U.S. not picking up in transition. Maracek left all alone. They have a three on two. You'll see Volker not sliding because he had Gary Gate on the far side. Huge faceoff. 
Rodney Tapp, he gets another one clean, and he picks it up. Here goes Canada, throwing two goals down. On the field is Jimmy Veltman. Clock going down toward one minute. They'll have to pick up a goal here. Not only a shot, but they've got to beat the great Sal Ocasio to have any chance of tying this game. On the run, Tavares behind the back, and the ball will go out and still controlled by Canada. Tavares is single-handedly resurrecting the hopes of Canada. Big check on the far side. Players trying to get up front. Terrible play by Chris Gill. He just forced it and took away every chance. Ball still loose and picked up finally. Paul Gate will have to get a shot off here. Coming down, looking inside for help. Power move. He's got a little room. Behind the back, far side, and an easy goal! Left side of Sala Costco. It's a one goal game with 35 seconds. Eight straight for Canada. The sideline for U.S. is one. The United States has dominated this game until Tavares pulled Canada on his shoulders. Holy Gate with a no look behind the back feed to, I think it was Gill at the tail end of this. He was double teamed, but he found his teammate. They've scored eight straight. They trailed 13 to four, and they've scored eight straight. Unbelievable. Timeout called by USA. USA calls the timeout. We're going to join the huddles, and it doesn't get any better than this. The two best teams in the world, the United States dominated this game from the outset, and then Canada rearranged the decks. You got the line? Yeah. We got 35 seconds to tie it. 35 seconds to tie it. You want a last shot or do you want to go? We want to go for the, we want to go for the tie right away. We get more shots if we go for it continuously. We get the ball, attack, we go for it. Don't try to kill the clock, we go. You've got a gate on the far wing with Veltman, the Hoover vacuum on the near wing. Ryan Wade's a different look. He's a fast, quick player, but it's Veltman coming up with the ball. He gives it back to Tap. Tap comes down, nobody in front of him. Looking for help, a shot, and a goal! The game is tied by Canada. With 23 seconds left, it's 13-13. The Canadians have done the impossible. Clock winding down, possession key. Bouncing around, pushed up, Stevie Toll, Rodney Tapp got it, they might get a shot. Toll with nine seconds, Toll with great speed, trying to get inside, he'll take a shot, Toll goes behind. No shot left, Toll cannot get the shot up, we're going OT. 125 left. Lockwood coming out, Sudan now a fresh midfielder for the U.S. coming in. Mark Millen showing his speed. Fennell trying to put stick on his number. And Millen! Well, Kevin Laser could be the game winner. He puts the United States on top again, 14-13. They have not been behind since the opening goal of the game in Gill Sport. We have seen Millen do this all week long in this tournament, and he picked the best time in his career to score a goal. Isolating against Fennell. Here it is. You'll see he just turns the juice on right there and catches Sanderson napping in the goal. Again, a look at it, just a strong left-handed move with a lot of speed. Look at the accuracy. That ball deflecting off of the post. Ryan Wade trying to get his first face off, and he does get possession. Ryan Wade looking for a shooter. Far side, easy jump. Aaron Lowe's got the two only for USA. possession on the faceoff, and they made Canada pay for it. Wade taking the ball down the wing, and they just find, he finds low on the back side. Canada caught off guard with the faceoff. Again, faceoff so crucial late in this game. They're up by two. Up to Paul again. He'll lock up on Brian Booker. Booker over the top as he rolls back right. Shifts it up to John Tavares. It's a push call. It's a push call against the U.S. The Castillo made the biggest save of the day against Tavares. 
Tavares mixed it up earlier, shot high. This time, Sal went down to his knees all over that. Huge save, 2.30 to go. They're asking a lot of Sal. This will be the fifth shot on Sal Ocasio. And Marichek puts it in the net. Marichek makes it a one-goal game, 15-14. Ryan Wade has been dominating the face-offs. Can he get it back for USA? Unrelenting pressure by the Canadians. Marichek threw a, a host of bodies. Watch his shot. Lucasio gets a piece of that with his stick in his knee. And Marichek has got the Canadians within one. Unbelievable pressure. They generated about five shots in that possession. Sal Ocasio was absolutely sensational, but they got the multiple shots. Second goal of the night for Marichek. And now back to the faceoff. It's been a run of four straight for Ryan Wade. Ryan Wade has literally saved his team by getting possessions the last four times. Rodney Tapp locking him up. Ball still loose. And here comes Tapp out of the scrum. 2.20 left. Tapp gets possession, gives it to Dudley. He'll come off and Chris Gill will come on. Tavares on the offensive end. He has the ball now. Reed Jackson with a short stick lined up. This is a good spot for Tavares to take the short stick. Tavares senses it. Looks far side, Beltman. He wants to feed, so he'll get it behind. This is Gary Gate. Gets it, tries to get the ball. Beltman will have to run it down, he won't catch it. Who will get the ball? It can't go over. Beltman still scrambling, and he is knocked out by Bresci. Interference called on Bresci. Watch out, U.S. set up, because here come the guns. Colgate dipping inside, flipping it off to the wing, and they just missed the goal. They had an open goal. Beautiful play, crease violation goes to USA. Tavares missed the net. He missed the net. He had it. And watch him get wailed. Now watch Ocasio just drop on him. The Canadian coach is upset that the clock was running. Coach Huntley on the sidelines absolutely going crazy. Canada calls timeout. Tied the game, he had an open net. He has been so magnificent, helping to bring his team back. Let's see if Fair, Fair will be able to stay with Curry. Curry has great speed. But how can be Sanderson doubling him? That's actually Marichek. Marichek back there, but Curry's got too much speed for all of those players. They're chasing him down, ball not loose. Here comes Canada. Into an open net, but the ball checked again. It's on the field because McCabe. Push call, they're giving it to USA. Now ball down being held by Watson. Watson tackle to the balls. Turf, do they have any timeouts? Here it goes. Toll, Toll's got speed. 40 seconds left, plenty of time. First side, Marichek can't finish off the pipe. That was off of the pipe. Marichek had an open net again. Miller, now Miller won't give it up. He'll keep the ball as he's being ragged by Gary Gate. Here comes Sanderson for the double. Half a minute to go. Canada had two shots to tie this one up. Watson coming in on net. He won't take a shot. They won't be able to get it back this time as the ball pushed around from player to player. Lockwood gets it all around. Here comes Canada. One last chance. All the way down. Here comes a shot. And a big save by Lucasio. That will end the game. Lucasio becomes the MVP to most of the crowd here. Seconds left, but that'll be it. Quinn, they had tremendous opportunities, and Lacasio saved them in the end. I, I tell you that Marichek, watch this play. Tavares on the end will take a bounce shot. Lacasio's right there, controls his rebound. But Sal Lacasio sealed the winner's goal. USA, World Champs, 98.